Stars form in nebulae which are large clouds of gas, mainly hydrogen, and some dust, heavier elements. These clouds are huge and the only force acting on the particles of the nebula is gravity. Gravity slowly pulls the gas and dust together into huge rotating balls. As particles are pulled together, they are accelerated faster and faster. Gravitational potential energy is being converted into kinetic energy. These balls of heated gas and dust are called protostars. If these balls of collapsing gas are big enough, particles in the core will be packed close together and moving fast enough for hydrogen nuclei to be squashed together to make helium nuclei. Nuclear fusion has begun releasing huge amounts of energy. A star is born. In a star, there are two sets of battling forces. Gravitational forces that form the star and continue to try to collapse the star, driving nuclear fusion, and thermal forces trying to make the star expand. There is a dynamic equilibrium as these forces battle it out and slowly the star changes. In the case of an average star, like our Sun, fusion is turning mass into energy. The radiating star is losing mass, the gravitational forces are weakening, and the thermal forces are slowly winning, causing the star to expand. As the star expands, it is cooling. These larger, cooler stars are called red giants. Red because they're cooler. Giants because they're very large. As our sun turns into a red giant, it will engulf the innermost planets of our solar system, including Earth. The expansion of a red giant causes the star to cool. The thermal forces are weakening, and sooner or later, the gravitational forces will again win. The core of red giant collapses into a small white dwarf. Why? Because it is hotter. Dwarf because it is a small star. The outer part of the red giant remains as a shell of gas. It is thought that white dwarfs cool into black dwarfs. However, this is such a long process that it hasn't happened yet in the universe. Now, in the other case, in the case of a massive star, much heavier than our sun, the larger gravitational forces are driving nuclear fusion at such a high rate that the star is blue, much hotter. But it is using up its hydrogen more quickly. Again, thermal forces are causing the star to expand. The expanding massive star cools, becoming a red supergiant. The expansion of a red supergiant causes the star to cool. The thermal forces are weakening and in this case sooner rather than later, the gravitational forces again win. The core of red supergiant takes only a few days to collapse radiating vast amounts of energy in an event called supernova. A supernova, for a sort of time, can be brighter than an entire galaxy of stars. The outer shell is pushed into a deep space by the supernova. The core collapses into a neutron star or, if massive enough, even a black hole.